All right, you found the lesson on quick review, adding like terms. And so remember, like terms are terms with the same variables, and those variables have the same exponents. All right, so let's see if we can add our like terms. I'm going to start off in blue here. I have three x's and five more x's. And if you remember, all I need to do is add the coefficients. I like to say it this way, three of them and five more of them gives me eight of them. All right, I see no other x's, so that's it for the x's. I'm going to take my red. I have four n's, and notice I include the sign in my circle. I have a positive 4n and a negative 7n. Four positives, seven negatives leaves you what? Three negatives of what's n's. And that's the second term. I'll do the next in green. All right, I have a negative 3y and a negative, oh, excuse me, a negative 3y squared and a negative y squared. All right, do you remember what a negative y squared is? Hopefully you do. That's a negative 1y squared. So I have three negatives and one more negative for a total of four negatives of them. And what are these? Y squareds. And then I just have this plus 2y, right? I can't add a y squared and a y because they're not like terms because even though they have the same variable, the variable is not to the same exponent. All right, so some would say that that's the solution. Others would say you should rearrange them in alphabetical order uh, going by the power. We'll deal with those topics a little bit later on in the year uh, when we get more into binomials and trinomials and such. All right, so 8x minus 3n minus 4y squared plus 2y adding of like terms.